The dotterel is one of the UK's rarest species of plover and rightfully heavily protected. Wharfdale and North Country fly dressers of old highly prized the dotterel's overcovers for dressing a range of soft hackled wet flies. These hackles have a brown and centre to them, similar in colour to a cup of coffee, and the hackles are tipped with a striking golden honeydun colour. The hackles were used extensively in the North Country fly dressings, but by the time of Pritt's famous publication, substitutions were already being sorted and listed. Some North Country fly dressers suggested the use of sandpiper and curlew overcovers as a substitute, while the most famous of substitutions became the pale tipped feather taken from underneath a starling's wing. However, the major drawback to the use of starling undercovers is that these hackles have a greyish pallor to the centre of them rather than the coffee brown which is a characteristic of dotterel. Today the dotterel, curlew and sandpiper are rightfully protected, so modern fly tyres have again to find more ethically sourced substitute hackles. And whilst Brahma hen capes seem to offer the best chance of a suitable substitution, these capes then lack the softness of fibre that is the most important element of any soft hackle material. The field fair, or felfa as it was often called in old North Country fly tying manuscripts, is amongst the largest of Britain's thrush family. The hackles taken from a field fair are used in a surprisingly large number of traditional soft hackle dressings. The overcovered hackles have a grey inner vein turning to an almost auburn brown as it reaches the tip. The primary and secondary wing feathers, which have a character and coloration similar to hen blackbird, Many tyres get confused by the many North Country dressings which state the use of field fair rump feathers. They mistake these dark tail feathers here for the proper rump feather, which is in fact here. These are the feathers where fibres were traditionally bunched into wings on the traditional North Country wet flies. These wonderfully soft rump feathers are of a dirty blue dun coloration and similar in delicacy to jackdaw throat hackles. A good substitution for these hackles can be found in the softest of hen hackles. You just need to look for a really dirty blue dun coloration to the cape. Beautiful golden freckled hackles taken from the back, breast and wings of a golden plover are some of the most striking hackles used in fly tying. One of the first dressings to call for the use of golden plover hackles was Turton's dressing of the gold coloured dun which used these beautifully freckled overcover hackles here. The small undercover hackles taken from a golden plover have a wonderful silver grey sheen to them and are a great substitute for the even rarer polk hackle taken from a young red grouse. The breast hackles taken from the golden plover have also been utilised in many Wharfdale and North Country dressings. These hackles are of a lighter coloration than the overcovers, and as with all breast hackles, have a more delicate character to them. Personally, I much prefer these breast hackles as they give a more ghost-like appearance in the water. Grouse, or moor game as it was more regularly known, has long been a staple of the North Country wet fly tradition and features in many fly dressings. Hen grouse seems to have been a preference of the traditional Wharfdale fly dressers, and these are easier to differentiate because they are paler in colour and lack the red stripe above the eye, which is present in the male bird. All grouse hackles have a very pronounced orange speckle to them and make a wonderful soft heckled wet fly. Though the primary wing feathers are more common in lock flies, the secondaries nevertheless make nice dun coloured wings for winged wet flies on rivers. You won't find the proper shaded pulp hackle from under an adult grouse wing, as these undercover hackles are taken from a very young grouse. These rare pulp hackles have been a staple of North Country fly time for centuries and have a nice milky dun coloured sheen to them. 
They also have a transparent aspect to them which gives the legs of the finish fly an almost ghost-like quality in the water. Sadly, it is now practically impossible to obtain these juvenile hackles, with the lightest of golden plover undercovers offering the best substitution, but even these lack the transparent quality of an original pot hackle. The little used in the dressing of North Country wet flies, the neck hackles from the hooded or Norwegian crow featuring two of my own personal favourite fly patterns. Sylvester Lister's dressing of the smoke fly is regularly on the top dropper of my free fly cast and is one of the traditional wharfdale patterns that I would never be without. Henry Bradshaw's own peculiar traditional grailing pattern called Bradshaw's Fancy is also a regular favourite of mine during the autumn and winter months of the grailing season. Both patterns use the pale blue dun hackles taken from the rough and nape of the hooded crow's neck. These hackles have a tissue paper quality to them and can be infuriating to dress with, but nevertheless they make superbly mobile hackles on wet flies. Substitutions can be found in the palest of jackdaw throat hackles or the softest blue dun hackles make the best substitutions for these delicate hooded crow hackles. <laughs> 